Hello, this is Marvelous Action Figures, and I'm Paul, and this is a marvelous action figure. This is an amazing action figure that I've been waiting for for so long. The Mezco 112 Collective Doctor Doom. I've had this on pre-order for 2022. Finally dropped it here in the UK. It is incredible. But I am starting with a problem. Because in getting it ready and looking at all the accessories and in playing around with it, I have broken it. And it's really, really frustrating. And I want to cry, but I'm trying to get over it. And I'm going to try and deal with it and move past it in this little review. And what I've done is, I mean, so in highlighting something that's amazing. So the cape is on magnets, which is brilliant. Excellent. Okay. And that is what we want. We want magnets on these things. It makes it easy. And as you see, that comes off quite easy. Now on the back, there's two back plates. Now these fit a couple of things. These fit rocket thrusters. And it fits the power siphon for the cosmic power siphon, Now, which, which I'll show later on. But there's a little peg hole there. And there's a little peg hole meant to be a little peg on it there this is the other one to show you the one that i've actually done it on and on and on here you can see do you see that the peg broke off inside that hole immediately now that's caused me a bigger issue as well because that means i can't fit the rocket pack canal now the only way i can do that is to glue um you know look, look like a blue tack like a wax just to hold it on place if i want to do some some shots of that i'm not going to be able to do the same as the same with the power siphon to fit on there as well but it means i can't put back this plate because the because the peg that broke off of here is inside and as you can see i've attempted with a little knife to try and break it to perish it to get it out because it broke smooth on it with a slight lip on it so i'm unable to plug this one this plate let me get it i'm unable to plug this plate back onto it but obviously when the cloak is on let's rearrange the hood when the cloak is on you're not going to see it anyway and to be honest, I'll I'll be displaying him here in his frame, probably in this version anyway. But that was really upsetting. That was really upsetting. So that is a real pain. So, so if you're getting yours and you've not got it yet, and you are going to play around with it, be super careful with the pin. That pin on the back there, be super careful with that, putting it in and out, that little hole, because because I can't do can't use that one now, and that's ruined it, which is annoying. But anyway, let's get back to how awesome this figure is. And it is super awesome. First things first, it is mega chunky. It really, really is. The metal, the die cast is phenomenal. It looks stunning. Simplicity is the beauty here with this Doom. The cape is wired. It's not exactly a uh, Reveltech Amazing Yamaguchi strength wired, but it's it's okay. It's quite decent. You can do enough to get to get some shots in there to get some sort of flowing flowing cloak poses um it's not mafex level either but it's decent it's okay and there you go you get some good good motion on it um in terms of the cloak hood that is fantastic that is wired and that is brilliant there's always a trouble unless you've got a hard good uh, plastic hood on it which you don't want with this one because you've got this obviously soft goods that's what men's are about you want the cloak hood to sit perfectly and that sits perfectly so the wire in that top marks for mezco on that one in terms of articulation a very good range of head articulation and then you have a good pose up for the t on the shoulder and on the arms you have a bicep swivel you have an elbow bend up to there because obviously you've got the metal parts on those. So I was kind of expecting those. And then you've got a good hinge on the hand. And then you've got 
a bend to here on the knee. You can just about see the sort of chain mail design for it there. Bend to there, and you've got a pivot and a bit of a hinge. Not a great deal because obviously you've got the top of the armor on there, and you've got a bit of a crunch and a bit of side to side, which is fine. So articulation is decent for what you want to get doom into with various poses. It moves solid, so on his sort of walking pose, you can get him marching, marching forward, looking mean and menacing. So it's a beautiful looking figure. Beautiful, very, very happy with the look and feel of it. There are tons of accessories, so we will work through those accessories right now. So we have stacks and stacks of accessories. Kudos to Mezco again. We have rocket packs, we have magic hands, we have magic effects, we have source effects, we have a cosmic power siphon with a really cool digital display. We have so many hands. We have jet pack accessories. We have uh, three face plates. We have two Von Doom head sculpts. We have pistols. We have dark hold magic books. We have absolutely everything. And obviously you've got the Mezco stands that go with it. So I'm going to highlight some of the favorite accessories of mine here. And then I'll try and get as many in the end as I can in some of the montages. Okay, so let's start looking at some of the best ones. Okay, so I'm going to talk through some of my favorite accessories and highlight some of the things here. So what I've done, I've swapped out the head, the face plate rather. So figure came with this one and again magnets brilliant well done and then it is a second face plate a more sort of modern take on it modern comic book take on it which is very good and then i put the angry the shouting the sort of jack kirby mouth open where you can sort of see the uh the armory behind it as well almost like teeth which i really really like it comes with a doom head sculpt i'm just going to take this one out of the plastic a bit crinkly crinkly so you have two face plates so here is the scarred victor von doom and then you have a second one which i'll i'll show later on in there again and these face plates just clip on there really snug and there you go really really good so that's great and then it does just pop on as a normal mezco heads do now i've changed his belt so the belt that he comes with is the one strap belt here with the pouch on the side so i've changed that it just unclips uh, very easily on there and there you go you can see the clip point there and uh, just pops in like so now i put the two strap belt on because I wanted to get his pistol in his Luger and that just hooks over and then there is a pin clip there which I'll do in a minute to put that in and I wanted to put that on because I want him to wear the uh, Luger as well because I love that look with Doom. So I've added that, that is great. Here are all the hands in a lot more detail. So many hands. So we have magic hands, we have finger pointing hands, we have fists, we have open action hands, we have flat palm hands, everything you need for Doom in these hands here. They are great. I'm just going to go and get some of the magic accessories now and we'll look through some of those. You dare defy Doom. So these magical hands, these effects, so they are attached to the hand already. So as you can see there, and then the hand just clips in as uh, the normal hands do onto the peg on there. Nice effect, sort of fading out at the end with the core of the power coming from the fingertips. So they are very, very good as well. Now there's a couple of other ones as well that I'm just going to get here. So these will go on to other hands. So um, are these are effects we've seen on a lot of other figures in the past, particularly the Mezco Doctor Strangers, and that's absolutely fine because you've got some different colours for these ones now. And they will fit over hands. So um, you could do the fist ones with these, or you could do the, the various magical hands with these ones. You could do the pointing hand as well, which I'll probably do, and then fit those over the peg, put the hand on them. So they will work well as well. So good magic effects. Now I'm going to dig out the cosmic power siphon and take a look at that. So here is the cosmic power siphon, a very, very cool old school bit of doom technology 
which looks great. So it comes with three little LED batteries. So you take this cover off and then you drop that out and then you put the three batteries in here and then you've got the on off. So I put that to on already. And if you clip that back under, then on the top, you've got oh, to take that cover out of the way for the moment. I'm having a bit of trouble clipping that back on, but it doesn't matter at the moment. So then you've got the light up display on and off and that'll look great. Get the lighting right on that. That is going to look cool and funky. Now I'm going to take the cloak off. This goes over Doom's shoulders. Now, obviously, I can't clip one of these sides on because it's broke. Back to being disappointed. But I'll put that on him now and put the change of hands over so you can see that on him. So I will be right back. Right, so I've dropped the lighting down a bit on this one so you can see the glow from the power siphon. It's a uh, it's quite a funky, cool bit of kit. I won't be using it a lot, to be honest. I much prefer Doom uh, in his full majestic glory, but it's pretty cool. Um, and it's it's quite a nice accessory. And it looks really good when it's lit up there. So there you go. So that is the power siphon. Now, again, obviously, I have not clipped mine on at the back, but actually the wire capability in it is very good. So it sits on there quite nicely. So no complaints, actually. I can get away with that, and I don't need to keep crying about the fact mine's broke. So after talking about the power siphon, one thing I forgot to show you is this super sweet display readout which goes with it. It's brilliant and it clips into the top there. So Doom has got a readout of the power he is siphoning out with the cosmic power siphon. So I forgot that when I was putting it on Doom just now. So just jump back in to show you that bit. How cool is that? It looks fantastic. Okay, let's talk scale now. Let's see how he looks against some other characters from the Marvel Universe. So this is the Mezco Doctor Strange that I've put him with there. The soft goods are on fire here. Two characters that have had a great history together, a checkered history and a very colourful, magical history in the Marvel Comics universe. So the great matchup. I love the way those two look. That is a good set. So here he is with the 3-0, the DLX Iron Patriot. Um, I absolutely love this figure. I thought it might be a little bit taller, actually, than, than Doom, but that works perfectly. Two armoured foes together. I think that scale is just about spot on between the two of them. So I'm very, very happy with that. Beautiful colour scheme between them. Great matchup. Now from back in the day, here is the old school Toy Biz Doctor Doom figure, which came with this lovely, lovely throne. I should be putting Doom in later. Um, and this will work perfectly as a Doom bot. And a bit of battle fodder. Um, great representation. You can just see it could be classic Doom looking both of these. That works well. So this as a slightly smaller scale Doom bot, bit of battle fodder for Victor Von Doom. Okay, here is the uh, Marvel Select Iron Man Silver Centurion. I absolutely love this figure. My favourite Iron Man armour of all time. There's a great colour scheme. Real 80s comic book vibes going on here. It's maybe just a little bit too tall for Doom. It's not too bad. Um, Doom should be maybe a little bit more imposing against him, I think. But it's not too bad a matchup. With the right angles on the uh, on any photography I might do with that, I think that'll work quite well. So beautiful looking set. I think that probably just about works quite well. Okay, so here he is with the amazing Yamaguchi Moon Knight from Rebel Tech. Uh, these are... I mean, this is my number one, number two, or number one and number two figures of 2024. I haven't worked out which way around it is yet. It probably won't matter. They're both epic. Um, Doom looks really imposing over Moon Knight. And I'm quite surprised because in my head, this Revel Tech was bigger. But when you put it up against this Doom figure, I mean, that's probably about right. I think that's a really good size scale for the pair of them so yeah really please great look between them it's all about the capes on this one and they'll make some brilliant action shots so there we go that's another great little matchup of uh, marvel characters and there we go that is my look at doom i mean there's loads of accessories which i'll get into a little montage at the end here and you can have a look at all those in in all their glory overriding thoughts it is a stunning figure. I'm so happy to have it. I'm obviously super disappointed about breaking it, and that's going to make it a little bit harder with some of the accessories. But overall, this is the Doom I've always wanted 
great soft goods, classic comic book feel to it, faithful adaptations of Face Mask and Victor Von Doom, a bucket load of accessories, everything you could possibly want for it. So I am super, super pleased with this. I'm going to get over the disappointment of breaking it because there's so much to love about this figure. But that is my look at it. I say I'll leave you with a montage. Let me know what you think. Have you got the figure? Are you going to get the figure? Did you break the figure? Please say you didn't. Please say you didn't. Um, let me know. Drop it down in the comments. Let's have a conversation about this Doom figure. And um, give it a like and subscribe if you're not already. And if you are, thank you so much. Um, check out all my other videos. Lots more to come uh, in 2024. And I'll leave you with the awesomeness that is Doom. Bye for now. <laughs>